And welcome back to another episode of The Borough Nuts, a place where we always listen to our viewers. A viewer said, hey, try something new. Sit somewhere else for a change. So look, I did. But I can tell that viewer, Tony, that trying something new isn't always a good thing. Seriously, I'm not sure what's wrong with me and food, but I, I ran out of meat. So instead of just, you know, fixing a smaller burger, I decided I needed to fill it out more. Yeah, that's... That's chicken in the burger. And chicken to, to fill the burger out a little bit more. That's just awful. All right, well, the project of the day was easy. Trying to keep Sydney from getting a big head. You see, this whole broiled nuts thing has made her out to be some sort of diva. Hi, I'm Sydney. I talk the world the words poop and juke. Yeah, I'm the host here, Sid, so, you know, relax, chump. So Sydney, no, she really enjoys the show. I mean, the first thing that's out of her mouth in the morning happens to be... After we watched the new boy of nuts, Tim, I watched the one where we sing Bell Burger. Yeah, you can watch it. She sits down, she wants to watch every single episode, and she seems to enjoy it. All right, drink it. Well, after Sydney got over looking at herself, we decided it would be father-daughter time. We played memory, and I'm telling you, I don't know how a four-and-a-half-year-old gets so good at remembering where SpongeBob is. The thing you just looked over. Uh-huh. But you don't. You have to know where it is, though. I think it's right over here. Hey! Good. <laughs> that was good. So after the memory game, after I cleaned the board up, uh, Cindy decided she'd invent a new game with the dog. She just started calling him Eucalarius. Yeah, I guess the point of the game was for her to be a ghost and Jack to, well, Eucalarius to come attack her. And the sad thing is he just kept falling for it. Are you done, Eucalarius? Come here! <laughs> Ouch. To her credit, Sydney plays off her psychosis pretty well. So after the chicken burger fiasco, we decided, you know, we'd, we'd actually have a real dinner. So we went to Red Lobster, a place we haven't gone forever, a place we can't really afford. But you know what? It's Lobster Fest. Uh, it was time to go. And... The sad thing is, even when we just try and go out to eat, it can't be easy. You see, we get to Red Lobster, there's a 40-minute wait. So, Amaya decides she wants to go to a friend's house. So, we drive on back to a friend's house, but the beeper at Red Lobster started acting like we were trying to steal a space shuttle or something. You are out of range and cannot receive the page. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it's back to our house so that Amaya can get her stuff so that we can go back over to her friend's house and drop her off. Then it's back to Red Lobster so that we can eat. Even though we had lobster, it just kind of seemed sad for some reason. Yeah, date night. Yes, date night with Miss Sydney. And you can imagine with that dynamic, uh, that dinner conversation only would go one way. I keep saying whatever SpongeBob I want, whatever SpongeBob's on, I like, I that's my favorite kind of SpongeBob. Yeah, if it ain't SpongeBob, it ain't in this house. And that's another episode down of the Borough Nuts. Catch us on Facebook, become a fan, or on Twitter. We'll be back tomorrow with yet another episode of these crazy kids you know as the Broiled Nuts. We'll see you later.